I said to Lorenzo and I said to Dana, I'm bringing these big numbers. So, I'm bringing these big numbers and the sky is the limit. Conor McGregor may have lost Saturday night, but he was still a winner when it came to his and the UFC's pocketbooks. UFC 196 proved a massive success, and with Floyd Mayweather now retired, it cements McGregor's place as the current number one draw in combat sports. While it's too early to say if the loss will hurt his future earnings, right now he's Money McGregor, or maybe that should be Arrogant McGregor. McGregor has boasted that he holds all the numbers, and apparently he does. While UFC 129 still holds the record as the biggest gate in UFC history, McGregor's last three fights hold the number two, three, and four spots on the list. UFC 189 sold $7.2 million in tickets. UFC 194 sold $10 million in tickets. And UFC 196 was only slightly lower, bringing in $8.1 million. The biggest money in prize fighting is found on pay-per-view though, and here McGregor proves just as valuable. The average UFC pay-per-view sells just below 400,000 buys. In comparison, UFC 189 is estimated to have done more than twice that amount. UFC 194 blew past the million pay-per-view mark, and 196 is right now thought to have done even better than that. Pay-per-view events are very lucrative for the UFC. After their split with the cable providers, the average pay-per-view would bring in around $11 million in revenue for the promotion but that's only a piece of the pie. Ticket sales add another couple million. The same with closed circuit at bars. Those movie ads, broadcast during the event, and sponsor logos on the Octagon bring in more money. And then there's TV license fees from countries that don't carry the pay-per-view. Finally, the UFC also collects a fee from Fox for airing the prelims. That all adds up to about $20 million. That's the average pay-per-view. McGregor's are much bigger. If 196 sold 1.3 million pay-per-view buys, then it brought in almost twice as much from pay-per-view alone as an average event does in total revenue. That's a big pie, which only gets bigger as the other revenue streams are added, all of which are bigger than usual thanks to McGregor. Add them all up, and UFC 196 may have meant $60 million in business for the UFC. The only way I give a fuck about is the weight of them checks, and my checks are always super heavyweight. For being the Golden Goose, McGregor gets his slice. For UFC 189, he is thought to have made a few million. For 194, reports were that he got a new contract that more than doubled his pay. As for UFC 196, McGregor told CNBC that he would blow past $10 million. Whatever Conor makes behind the scenes, it's a fact that he is the first UFC fighter to ever get a disclosed purse of $1 million. For the UFC, a McGregor event is big business. But even with such a big pie, slices have to be taken out for expenses. There's a couple million for the event production. A few million has to be spent for marketing. And then there's pay for all the other fighters on the card. And even if that includes pay-per-view points for a Holly Holm or an extra million for Nate Diaz, there's plenty left over. The biggest price tag, of course, is McGregor and his $10 million. That leaves $40 million for the UFC. Even if McGregor gets twice that, $20 million. That leaves $30 million for the company. With that kind of money, you can see why the UFC treats McGregor right. The question is, following this loss, will he still be king of the numbers? 